Trevor, unfair build. Tosio's brother, full melee. Two-handed fighter, armored Hulk, Hell Knight, and a Paladin. Or better to say, he started as a Paladin through his lord, and he became a Hell Knight. After that, a freaking Barbarian, when he ended up in the Abyss, a classic two-handed fighter. Remember one thing, if it works on Unfair, it will work on all other difficulties as well. So, here you can check the stats of Trevor, they are absolutely insane, alright, including crit range, hilarious damage, very good attack, and insane saves. Armor class is also solid, but it could be better to be honest, but whatever. So what do we need from skills for Trevor? We need athletics, we need mobility, and the rest is your choice, basically. You can go into whatever the hell you like. I went into Knowledge World and Lore Religion. Just make sure you have this too and you're good to go. Trevor's inventory, his items, let's see what do we use. For a helmet, I believe the best option is Shy Lily's helmet because of plus 40 strength and plus 2 to armor class. For amulet, natural armor, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, simple as that. If you can find similar one with passives, use that one, but basically stick with classic natural armor. As far as goggles go, I find only this one valid on Trevor, only because it gives attack and damage rolls against demons. There are no better goggles for Trevor, and that's it. For armor... Any armor that's heavy or medium and that's gonna be a Dementian or Mithral is valid. This one might be the best option, but it's mega late game. For a cape, it's classic all saves up plus one to seven. If you can equip some with saves and some passive abilities, do so. For under armor, heavy fortification. As far as Bell goes, early on when you find Trevor, it should be Strength and Constitution. Later on you can transfer to Belt of Perfection, plus 4, 6 and 8. As far as Ring goes, the first one will be Ring of Protection, of course, from plus 1 to plus 6. And for the second ring, I opted in for Ring of Imminent Demise to raise that damage even more. Gloves of Entropy are absolutely great on Trevor. For bracers, any bracers that will raise his attack or his damage, here you go. For boots, again, boots that work against demons, plus one to armor class. For the weapon, it's quite simple. He comes with a falcon, okay, and you should stick with those type of weapons. Uh, the best option is Defender's Nemesis. It's mega late game, but just stick with those weapons from plus three, four, five, and onwards. Trevor's Mythic Path. The first one is a no-brain less than. We're gonna go into improve Critical Mythic with Falcon. Then it's a Thundering Blows hit even when you miss. Weapon Focus on a Falcon, of course. Mythic Unrelenting Assault to raise that damage even further. Weapon Specialization Mythic again on a Falcon. Rupture Restraints so he doesn't get affected by enemies' crowd control spells. Mythic Toughness for 8. For 9 it's Limitless Rage, and for 10 it would be Flawless Attacks. Now let's go with Classic Leveling. Trevor is a complete mess, because that's how game made him, because of lore. He was a Paladin first, and a Hell Knight, and he ended up as a Barbarian Armored Hulk in the Abyss, and at the end, a classic two-handed fighter. So, even though he's a mess, he's still solid enough, which you can tell by all of these numbers, okay, they're extremely high. And let's check for the start his feats, classic feats, then we're gonna transfer to other feats as well. Trevor gets his power attack at the start and a weapon focus. After that, uh, he gets heavy armor focus into cleave. Into cleaving finish, they oriented a lot on cleave, great cleave, improved cleaving finish, okay, they expect you to play with cleave and cleave only, okay, from this moment you start leveling up Trevor around here, 13, 15, I would never take greater bull rush, so they start from here, this is what I took, so this is the uh, from level 15 and beyond where you can level up Trevor, so I took improved critical falcon, Greater weapon focus on his weapon and iron well. From down here, there's Hammer the Gap. 
there is Bull's Rush. There is a weapon specialization in the Falcon, a critical focus, dodge, and a blind fight. From Armored Hulk, there's a powerful stance. There is scent, and there is armor proficiency in the heavy armor. From the Hell Knight, there's compulsion and fearsomeness. From Paladin, there is nothing, just a lay on hands that you won't even need. So, now we got this team feast that Trevor needs, and it would be seize the moment, shake it off, precise strikes, and out flanks. So, we need to switch four. You can switch Iron Will, you can switch Blind Fight, you can switch Dodge, and you can switch Critical Focus. For, I repeat again, seize the moment, shake it off, precise strike, outflank. If you play as Aeon, as an Inquisitor, or as what else can transfer team feats, I think it's Cavalier, then you can stick with this build. For all other classes as a main, you need to put those four team feats instead of the feats I told you. Trevor doesn't have a spell book, and you can check advanced stats over here. And off we go. Now, his abilities. I'm gonna hover over everything, pause when you need to, and let's go. A shitload of feats on Trevor. How do we play Trevor? Pretty, pretty much simple, okay? What you need to use is Rage before entering the fight. If you go in second, you're gonna use Cleave. If you go in first with Trevor, you won't use Cleave. Of course, you're gonna use Smite Chaos on enemies or Smite Evil on enemies. Keep it for tougher fights, for bosses, for extremely hard enemies. All right. Do not forget to use Pile Driver and Pile Driver Bull Rush. All right. Trip and Bull Rush in combat depends on an enemy you're fighting with. The squishier the enemy, the better the chance that this still will work. All right. Do not use it on huge enemies. Never. Okay, only on squishies, mage type enemies, alright, archers and so on. Basically, cleave should be turned on for all of the encounters in the game. Expect harder encounters and boss fights, or when you want to use less stand, you switch it off and you ram it in with classic attacks. Okay, he can swing five times in a row with hilarious attack and hilarious damage. So, he, that's all, of course, if you decide to play with Trevor, but... Trust me, you can make a better Merc, alright? Trevor, I don't even know why he exists, alright? He could prove extremely useful during Threshold, when it's hardest, alright? Because of his crazy stats. But you need a perfect team composition for him to be valid. If you really, really want to play with Trevor, I would not recommend him for Unfair, even though I said he can be useful, he is way much more useful on easier difficulties for people that just don't want to think way too much and they just want to right-click on enemies, okay? Because this one doesn't have that many options and it's very easy to play. 